This is where I live. A former white safe haven of Johannesburg. In an elite suburb called Kalani. My building's tended by a battalion of janitors and is highly secured. See what I mean? Yeah, I'm working here. Yeah, that's okay. Let him in, please. Most of the people who live here are white. A committee of die-hard residents control the building. They set the rules. The most important of which is who is allowed in. Anyone who's not a resident must leave their name at security. If you're here to work, don't even think of entering without showing your passport. Excuse me, your ID. But things are beginning to change. More and more black families are moving in, and this is where it sometimes gets confusing for the security guards, who can't always tell who's a visitor and who's a worker. We sometimes forget that a democratic South Africa doesn't mean the same thing to everyone, that there's a whole layer of citizens who feel they've lost out as a result of other people's freedom. My interest in politics started long before I became a documentary filmmaker. It all began with my need to make sense of the racism that had a stranglehold over my country. That's when I realized whiteness means more than fair skin and straight hair. I began to see that those who buy into a white identity do so because it brings them considerable psychological benefits. It's all in the head. In this so-called rainbow nation, we remain focused on what it means to be black. Black pride helps us undo the internal damage caused by centuries of white supremacy. But maybe it's time to ask what it means to be white. <laughs>